Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. This is the place to get all the latest VR news and setup guides and all the rest of it. And with that being said, just to let you know, there's a new OpenXR Tools for Windows Mixed Reality update. It will now be 112-2209-16005. And actually, if you've got preview mode turned on, you will already have this update. And I'd recommend trying it out because there's been a number of fixes that include a fix for the quad layers and motion reprojection, something that's very important to VR in this sim. There's also been an issue that's been fixed when the app drops the very first frame. And last but not least, there's been a fix for an issue when the app stops submitting frames whilst motion reprojection is enabled. So what does this all mean in practice? Well, as you can see, I've been testing this out, flying in the Just Flight Warrior over Burning Blue Design Red Hill, another absolutely stellar airfield by that company. And you'll actually see this again with a very, very exciting new preview of a new aircraft from Just Flight, but uh, more of that later on. But in practice, things don't feel that much different, I have to say. Um, they still feel really smooth, actually, and I'm using Sim Update 9 for this test. And I think part of that smoothness is down to my settings. Now, at the moment, I'm not actually using the OpenXR Toolkit because I'm not a huge fan of it these days. Um, but, you know, that's just a personal preference. There is a new update coming, so I'll let you know how that gets on when I get my hands on it. But for now, it looks like the best settings for me personally is using a custom render scale set in the OpenXR tools at 75% and then the render scale within the sim setting that to 100%. Now many long time viewers of the channel will probably remember that I was one of the first to show a setup guide for Microsoft Flight Simulator and I used those settings. Well they're still the same and they work really well especially when you want to use motion reprojection because it just gives you that more of a headroom and I find doing it this way the clarity does not suffer as much as say taking the render scale down in the sim. Now before I fly off into the sunset I just want to say a massive thank you to Sparky Sven for letting me know that this update was even a thing. He also has his own YouTube channel so please do give him a couple of thousand likes and subs. He so deserves it. Anyway that's it for this video. Please do let me know how you're getting on and have a great weekend and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.